as a medical doctor, I will never lose hope as long as the patient is still alive. Maybe the situation is difficult, but we need to ask why the conflict is not solved. Maybe the diagnosis is wrong, and once the diagnosis is wrong, the treatment is wrong, and that's the situation. It's a conflict between two nations, Palestinians and Israelis, and they deserve to live side by side as a free, independent nations. When we speak about putting an end to this conflict, it should never be just and good for one. It must be just and good for both. Palestinians are occupied. The Israelis are the occupier. So we need to bring them to the same level that both of them are free, as a free nations, not occupied and occupier. The equation of occupier and occupied must finish. Peace is very possible. Uh, there are some magic words. If we use them, uh, then we can have peace, like justice, for instance human rights, international law. I think what we need now is for Israel to be complied with the international law and the UN resolutions. There is a road to peace. Israel must cease its colonization of the Palestinian lands. They must lift the siege of Gaza. They must respect the Palestinian people with dignity and equality, Palestinians have a right to return to their homelands. If there is no justice, there will be no peace. The question is not, is peace possible in principle? The question is, is it possible in practice? Now, you cannot have peace when one party wants to keep taking over the land of the other party. So the, the Likud party, which is the governing part of Israel, has in its constitution that there shall not be a Palestinian state between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea. That's in its constitution of the leading governing party in Israel, of which Prime Minister Netanyahu is the authorized representative. Now, we keep talking about Hamas, so it doesn't want to accept Israel. But in the very constitution of the official governing party in Israel, it says you can't have a Palestinian state. And Jews have the right to settle everywhere in that land. It's not possible to have peace under such a basis. It's true that the conflict has been going on because not enough effort has been put to end the conflict. And the conflict will not end without the international family taking the responsibility of seeing that the land called holy really becomes harmonious enough for two peoples to be living in. We can start to live together, and we proved it before, because Palestinians, they lived in this world, and even Jewish people, they lived inside Palestine as Palestinians, so we can live together. And I say it, the biggest ally to the Israelis should be the Palestinians, not the Americans or the Canadians or anyone else, their safety their security, their freedom, their independence, their future is linked to the Palestinian safety, security, freedom, and the future. And it's time to put an end to the occupation and the mentality of occupying. <laughs>